So we're here in uh, Guatemala right now. We're in the uh, the big main market coming to get some stuff for lunch. We're here with Pastor Mario. You guys can see. He's showing us around a little bit. Then, last time I was in this market, eight years ago, I was pickpocketed. I took all my stuff. It was the only time I've ever been pickpocketed. And all of my years, 17 years in ministry, only time I've ever been successful. They, they've tried like three times and I've caught them, but they, they're really good here. So this is the one time that they managed to pickpocket me. So we're about to get out and walk around. And uh, this time, I'm gonna be very careful. I'm leaving my stuff in the car, except for my phone, because I want to try and get some video for you guys when I'm out there. Around. You can see there are people everywhere. <laughs> Yeah, let's check all this out. So this is the market here in Guatemala. It's just an open meat market. We're actually getting stuff for lunch here. I hope you guys can hear me all right. They have all kinds of meats. We've got some pork rinds. I don't know, those, those sausage? Tiny sausages? And kinds of peppers. Breads, fish. Oh. I'm looking for something really, truly interesting. Huh? Oh, look, chicken feet. Huh? You're not going to get pickpocketed with this. All you have is chapstick. And it's only half a stick. See? Okay. He's gonna buy here. Look at all these sweet vegetables. I gotta tell you guys, it's it's a bit difficult to get good footage here. Oh, there's people all around. These are chayotes. All right. I'm gonna pause here for a minute. Pharmacy here in the market. And we just bought some stuff, some uh, this white stuff here. That's for dry lips and things like that. So if you guys need some meds, they're just right there. Guys, we just we just lost the pastor that we were with in the middle of this giant maze. We might all die. Oh wait, never mind. Found him. He's right there. Dude, he's right there. Yep. We thought I I thought for sure we were all dead, but we made it. We're live. Huge guys. I mean, I I was in the the Grand Bazaar in uh, Turkey a few months ago and it is grand for sure I didn't get any well I did get some video of that actually it was really big but the thing about the Grand Bazaar it's just kind of the same thing over and over again but here and look at these tiny baskets here in Guatemala this this um, bazaar market whatever you call it it has such a variety it's so cool I don't know what that is. Dude, that's... But uh, we got some sponges, some tiny brooms. Are these sponges? Candles. And then meat all together in one place. Look. Bottles and some sticks. And this is, look at these. Old, old, and bird cages. Check it out. Nescafe bottles. Or jars and bird cages right next to each other. And then meat. Pig feet. Whole row of pig feet. Oh man, we lost the pasture again. So our journey continues. Look at that. I don't know what that was. I think it was liver. Mario's got our lunch. I don't know what it is. Look, see, look at this. Shoes, chicken, right next to each other. And then and fruit. This is amazing, people. Oh. Oh. I almost tripped. I almost tripped. I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as me. Because this is pretty sweet. Oh, I can't even see, I'm blinded. We're out of the market. Found Mario. What? My son now wants a bird. Apparently that was what he took away from this market experience. And we gotta find, we're going with Mario to find the car. It's pretty fun. Got a tiny <laughs> juice. 
Nobody got pickpocketed this time. As far as I know, I haven't got pickpocketed yet. I might get to the car and find that I have absolutely nothing. <laughs> Just the clothes on my back and this tiny juice. Ah, bueno, está bien. He was saying lunch is late, so we're gonna just go get some chicken. Yes. Like already made chicken. Look at this. Look how beautiful it is here. I enjoy it. If you guys like that video, do me a favor. Subscribe, click like. It helps me out, and uh, it's a lot of fun because there's a lot more coming.